liberty and the pursuit of happiness. What are we to do in America when these things, these self-evident truths are not held dear, but we reject the truth of God? We reject the truth of what we've said in the Constitution from the very beginning. We reject the truth of what we know to be right and just. And we murder the innocent. We murder the innocent in such an extreme number. And we think that God is pleased. 3,500 children every day lose their lives. 3,500. How are you today, sir? Can I ask you what your goal right now is? My goal? Yeah. It exposed wickedness. Really? Because you think people like staring at that? It's exposing the wickedness. I don't care if it's exposing wickedness. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. Nobody, it is. But nobody, so what should we nobody, do about it? Hold on. Nobody should have to look at that. You're right. If you want to get your message out there, try talking instead of showing all that shit. I do. That's disgusting. I do all kinds of things. Do you talk about it, sir? Or do you just come out here and tell me that I'm doing it wrong? See, that's, that's what happens, is you just run away. You say, come talk. You say, talk about it. You say, talk about it. You come up here, you tell me your opinion, and then you run away. I agree with you. Abortion is wrong. I've, I have never believed in abortion. I've always thought it was wrong. But going about it that way and showing right. dead children, right. that's fucked up, dude. How is that fucked up? That's fucked up. How? Because nobody wants to look at that. That's right. They don't. Exactly. So why they, 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 but they want to do it. They want to celebrate okay, it. Okay, well, you know what? They want to celebrate right, it. Didn't, didn't, How are you on. against it? Didn't, didn't God give everybody the choice of free will? Did he? Yeah, he did. You tell me, where does he say that in his word? He's always said that. Where does God he say that in his word? Earth. Can you give me chapter and verse where God says that you have the right to murder children? That's not what I'm saying. That's exactly well, what you say. What I'm saying, oh, free will, sir. Free will. You got the free God will to you, sin. Listen, if you let me finish, I can explain. Okay. God gave us a choice of free will, but you pay for the consequences afterwards. Okay. Exactly. So this baby's paying for the consequences no, of a mother's no, choice. No, that mother will pay for the consequences. And so will the child. The child lost his life, sir. Okay, well, that's because the men aren't fault. standing okay, up. Well, what I'm saying is... What's the ultimate goal in this life? What is your ultimate goal in this life? I don't know. I hate myself. I want right. to kill myself. Why? I don't care. I don't so, have so why are you against abortion? And why do you know what God says? Because I've been in church all my life. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 22. Okay. All my life. Yeah? Okay. As a young man at your age, I hated God too. I did my own I don't thing. Hate God. I love you do. God. If you hate yourself, you hate God because His image is in you. I didn't come to the knowledge of God until I was a, a 35 year old man. And I understood my sin rightly. And once I understood my sin rightly, I could see God. And I could understand how wicked this was. And how in His Word, He tells us that we should oppose such things. You should never hate yourself. You are beautifully created in the image of God. And if you hate yourself, there's something wrong with that connection there. There's something wrong with you and your love of God. Because He is living in you. So how can you hate God if He's living in you? Does that make sense? It does make sense. I'm here. I'm here because of men like you. I want to love on you. I want you to understand the way God sees you. This child was created in the name of God. I'll put it down. This child was created in the name of God. This child was created in the name of God. But there is forgiveness. That's for out here to pray. For out here to that forgiveness. But he tells us in his word. You know how Jesus died, right? How does he die? Right on the cross. Where? In a dark room? Out in the open in front of everybody. Why? Because that sin that put him on that cross, those wicked men that put him on that cross, that sin needed to be exposed. He could have died in any number of ways, but he chose to do it publicly. And what he tells us in his word is he says, have nothing to do with the under the works of darkness, but rather expose it. That's what he tells us to do. He says, no coward will inherit eternal life. He says, he says wash yourself. Make yourself clean. So the things that you're doing in your life right now, is your when you lie, does it hurt you? Is it like dropping to your knees and go, God, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I lied. When, when, when you come out here and you hate on your brother, does that bother you? It should. Because those are the things that God wants to cleanse from your life. That's that's why we're here. We want you to understand life. God is eternal. He is so good. He is so big. He is so great. He created us in His image. That doesn't mean we have the physical attributes. That means we have spirit. Because God is spirit. Right? God's not a man. He doesn't walk like a man. I understand that. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say 
if I understand and I appreciate what you guys are doing, but I don't think people like seeing that. Oh, I know they don't, but that's why we have to do it. Because you know what we hear? You know what we hear? We hear young men like you coming out and getting angry. But we also hear young women going into the abortion clinics going, my body, my choice. What happens if they murder that child? They go to hell. Man, I, I want to climb in front of them. I want to hold up my hands. I want to stop them going, no, you don't have to go to hell. God can redeem you. We want to do that not only for the, for the sin of murder, but we want to do that for the sin of lying, of stealing. We want to do it for the sin of hate. We, we want to do it for all these things. And that's why we have the signs that say there's forgiveness. That's why we have the signs that says abortion is murder. And murderers earn their death and pit in hell. Repent of your sins. And I agree. I agree. Right. But if we don't stand up and we don't show them their sin, we'll never, ever reach them. Because our culture and our society says that this is okay. And you know what Christians do? They go hide in their churches. That's what Christians do. You want, here, let me read this. Look at this. This is Jeremiah. He pled the cause of the afflicted and the needy. Then it was well. It is not what is meant. Know me, declares the Lord. Okay? It says, declares the Lord. But your eyes and your heart are intent only upon your own dishonest gain. The shedding of innocent blood and on practicing oppression. See, Jeremiah went to the people and he showed them their sins. And no, he, see, this is what we get. We get women that have live in that hate and we have to expose that. Because we, we, we want them to be redeemed. We want them to understand rightly. And we, so we have Don't to expose those things. you're kind of forcing it on people? Forcing heaven? No, we're not forcing heaven, yes. No, we have to show them because they, when they die, and you don't know, right? You don't know when you're going to die. I don't know when I'm going to die. I wish I did. <laughs> well, you see, that's the thing. Is you have to come to an end of that because God knows. And He created you to walk in the works that He created beforehand for you to walk in. So the fact that you're here talking to me today is not an accident. Okay? God put you here so that you could hear His Word and you could understand rightly that you have value. We don't just walk around wearing crosses on our neck and saying, oh, God's going to love me. He's not. You see, John 3.16 is the verse that everybody wants to quote, right? Right? What's it say? What's John 3.16 say? Right. And what does that mean? For any who believe in Him, right? That's what He goes on to say. He goes, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's what he says, right? But then, look. He who believes in Him is not judged, but he who does not believe in Him has been judged already. Yeah. Right? So we are to call, He calls us in the Great Commission. He says, go into all the world, teaching all I have commanded, making disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See, that is our great command. And we are to love the Lord our God, two greatest commandments, right? Love the Lord our God with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. And to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And people say, well, who's my neighbor? Who's my neighbor? That's what the, the priest and the Levite said when they walked around, the, the man beat down on the side of the road, right? Who's my, who's my neighbor? Right? I'm going to just move to the other side. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know about it. Who stopped? Who stopped and helped him? The Good Samaritan, right? The Samaritan, the one that hated the Jews. They were opposed to each other, but he stopped and picked up the Jew because he knew in his heart that that was his neighbor. And not only did he fix him up, he took him to an inn and he paid the innkeeper. And he said, whatever it takes, I will help this man. And so we need to expose the same way Jesus exposed. He used parables. He used a written literature that brought a word picture that the Jews understood at the time and that has been happening for, for years and years since then. What happened in World War II is we stood up and we showed pictures of the Jews being murdered. After the fact, we showed, we showed pictures of the concentration camps so that everybody might rightly know what was going on. But did we want to stand up while it was happening and do nothing and do something? Most people know. 50 million Christians in Germany at the time of the Holocaust and they didn't hardly lift a finger to do anything. And you know what? I understand. Why? Why Why didn't they? Because they would have got killed, right? They would have been murdered right there for, for speaking up. Do we have the same thing in America? Or do we have the ability to speak up and go, no, 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 that's wrong. And God has placed us here at this time, at this place, for that purpose. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? I 
I gotta go. But. Well, go, man, and I'm not your enemy. I didn't say you were. All right. I'm just saying I don't right. I know. Safe. I know you don't. But but if you say you're against abortion, ask yourself how. How are you against abortion? How are you against these things? Are you standing up and doing what the Word of God says? It says, plead the cause of the orphans and widows. Plead the cause of the afflicted. He says, be a voice for the voiceless. That's what he tells us to do in his word. And if we're not doing that, we're being disobedient. And if we're hating ourselves, it's probably because we're being disobedient to what God has already told us to do. So I would encourage you, I would challenge you to understand God rightly. Church will not save you. In fact, church might condemn you worse than anything else because our churches... Well, you said you've been in church all your whole life. I've been in church most of Okay. Well, get into the Word of God. If you have a Bible, you need to read what the Word of God says and quit listening to what other people around you are saying. Open up the Gospel of John and just start reading it. Learn what it means to be born again. Because if you're born again, the Holy Spirit comes and dwells with you. And everything inside of you changes because you've been impacted by the Creator God. I'm Sean. Tommy. Tommy, right on. Well, I hope I see you again. We got guys out there. Yeah. Um, stop us. Speak to them. Okay.